Radio, a bit of a bonus video. I got cords all over my face. We're doing a take two long range Tony. We've done some long range tests in the past. We just did one, didn't go that well. No. We well, could have been a disaster. Probably the setup wasn't ideal yeah. because we had a lot of weight on the left yeah. wing. So a lot of left bank. Today, this video is all about 5.8 versus 2.4 and kind of comparing the videos. Analog, 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 analog. and seeing how it goes. So, yeah. We've so, got, so uh, I'm running the 5.8. Yep. Stu's going to run the 2.4. Yep. And we're just going to see how the pitch is compared. Yeah, just compare so. the DVR. Of course, I think 2.4 is going to smash it, but we'll see what happens. Let's have a look. Yeah. You got a heli cal, I got a patch. Let's just have some fun. All right, let's go. How are you feeling? How confident. Your video's clear? Yep. <laughs> Maybe you've probably still got a lot of trim. No, I took it out. That's flying so much better. Yep. Alrighty, here we go. Alright. I'm gonna watch in my goggles. Stabilization on angle mode. Okay. Mine looks, I'm not getting any interference, nothing here. Nothing at all. Perfect. Alright, I'm just gonna cruise. Yep. About, about 700 meters. I'm doing 50 k's an hour. I'm going to sit at 150. So if I go up, because I've got it on um, auto fly, when I take my hands off the stick, Stu, she should just level and yep. hold altitude and heading. Great. All right, so I just leave it at that. She's just flying dead level. I'm going to take my goggles off. I'm at 16.2, 44% throttle, cruising at 53. So we could go for a while like this. It looks like the wind's calmed down too. Yeah, I just want to stay a bit closer to the coast. I want to stay a little closer to the coast. How's your video? Uh, i got to keep pulling my goggles up and down. Let me check. I think it was fine. I've got perfect video. Yeah, if I point the uh, patch at it, it's absolutely no problems whatsoever. I've got nothing. Like, no, no issues at all. Yeah. I don't even have a single blip. What about you? Nothing at all. It's crystal clear. 60% throttle, we're at 60 k's an hour. Okay. And we still look like we've got heaps of that bolt, blah, battery voltage. 16 volts. Alright, and I'm at 2 k's. Oh, I'm getting a bit of interference now. I've got nothing. I just had a, a flicker. Mine's oh. flickering in and out. Actually, you say that, I'm starting to get it too. I reckon there's something over there, man. This is about where we lost it last time. Yeah. Could be a lot of, I'm starting to get a lot of uh, horizontal, vertical lines. Yeah, mine was coming, you know what's crazy? Mine was coming up with PAL, like it was flicking PAL onto the screen and stuff. PAL auto, like a, some weird, weird right. thing. Well, I've got the, uh, this is where we lost it. This is where we lost it last time. Half. I remember looking at that field. We're at 2.5. It's my video, it's recording, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't say it on the top anymore, that's all. 2.7 we're at, and there's a lot of vertical lines now. There's something over there, man. I say turn back. No, I'm gonna hit three, and then we'll turn. I guess you've got the return to home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at two. Mine's, for, mine's, mine's back to two being nine fine. Nine. I'm at three. Mine's fine. I'm at three. Little oh, bit I of fuzz. Turn my head and it's good. There we go, just do that. We're getting a few lines in the screen. Yeah, vertical. Yeah, uh, no, horizontal, which for me says interference, not breakup. Yeah, I'm getting... So like a big radio tower. That's exactly what I'm getting. Yeah. All right. Yeah, can you see the lake? Yeah, in the middle there? Yeah. Yeah, what's that? That's the guy that decided to build his own uh, marina without any permits. Oh, uh, and what happened? He got in a lot of trouble. So I'm at 4K, Stu. Yeah, it's fine. It's on 16 volts, mate. Yeah. 100. Oh, getting a bit of break up here. No, nah, nothing at all. Yeah, there's... 4Ks. And I'm right over the top of the marina now. Yep. 184 metres. All right. What do you reckon? Well, it doesn't... My, I'm still getting video. It's not... I'm not getting break up. I'm getting... I'm Good. getting definite interference. Right, watch this, right? I'll flick the the switch in three two, two what i'm going to return home ready okay i'm watching ready? three two one it's banking to the right oh you reckon it'll come all the way back like that i'm not going to touch it okay i'm getting this is a really interesting picture for me 
Really? Oh, I think I've lost it. No, no. I've still Have you still it. got yours? No, I have a perfect video. Nah, mine's going. I'm getting uh, all types of crazy interference. Move your head around. It's not my head. I'm pointing the patch at it perfectly. Now, I'm not touching this. I'm just going to see what happens. We're at 1A. Yeah. All right, I'm taking mine off. My goggles oh, off. We're well out over the sea. All right, my patch uh, at 2.4 video. There is definitely something out there. Tony's not even touching no, his sticks. I've got no, no issues at all, and I'm cruising on home. So you got your videos fine? Perfect, so, 110%. So in this situation, 2.4 is the is the is not the right choice well, for long range. Well, it's certainly when they're running uh, two systems next to each other, maybe that has something to do with it. No, I, I think there's a big radio tower over there or something, man. I mean, because this is... Uh, uh, faultless, like... Let me, let me have a look at mine again. No, 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 I'll wait, I'll wait. No, I'm, st I'm still getting definite noise interference. Now, Stuart, my plan is to land along the fence line. In yep, front of the, yep, uh, this side the of the fence. Yeah. All right, so my video's coming back. I've got perfect video. Like, it's as good as you could ever dream for. Mine is... It's so interesting you can pick up that, uh, that interference. I can even see the house. We're doing 100... I guess, is this how radio jamming would have worked back in the day? So the, the plane is sending out its radio signals. Maybe. But you just blow it out with something stronger yeah. on the same frequency. Is that how radio jamming works? Yeah, like for the maybe. war back in 100 years ago? I don't know. 50 years ago? We're doing 110 k's an hour. I'll tell you when I can see it. I can see where we are. You can see Actually, us? Should I come down? I'm going to fly down on the coast, okay? Okay. I'm going to go low. I see. I, I see where you are, yeah. Here we come. I think you're you're going to be below the trees for That's us. Alright. I can hear you. There's people down there too. Man, that is hooking. Look at it. God. She's flying a lot nicer when we've made it a bit better balanced, <laughs> isn't she? How much better was that? You must be behind this bush. It's like, oh, I see ya. All right, are you gonna come in for a landing? What do you reckon? Yeah. Get in a... Oh, where's the safest spot behind you? you just go behind me. All right, you're coming in. It's looking stable. Remember, wash off that speed. Be very low there. Here Where are us? Where's us? To the right. See us? Where's the fence? Not you, not over it yet. Now it's below you. Jeez, Tony, I did freak a bit. You freaked a little bit then too, right? I had full control. I thought you were coming down this length. Yeah, I was gonna. I had full control. Full okay. control. It's down. So how was your video? Uh, it was good. Like it was really good out that way. I had no dramas. Uh, a bit sketchy when we went out into the into the bay, but um, Engine. Oh, Engine. I was very happy with I that. Got, I very got happy. Definite interference. Not break up. Interference. interference. Environmental. We'll yeah. put that down too. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little bonus video. 2.4 is not always the right choice when you're going to go long range, which is really interesting. It really depends on your environment and all that sort of stuff. Long range, I think Tony takes a lot of planning. What would you say? Yeah, look, you, you need to do a bit of research. You can't just slap anything on and go anywhere, can you? There was a lot of uh, a lot of effort went into that one last night just to get it all set up right. Um, we didn't even turn on the GoPro on that flight, so yep. we just perfect. Throw, throw that one away. And clearly not enough. Effort. <laughs> um, but no, like, but no, if someone's going to go long range, you can't just take your quad out and go as far as you want. You got to no, really. You got to give. You got to have some uh, pre-thought. You've got to do some tests. You've got to make sure your return to home set up and working. Uh, position hold make sure you know where the switches are there's nothing worse than when you get out you lose video you're in a blind panic and you need to get your, your craft home and you go ah oh, what was the switch so you'll notice on my one whenever I flip a switch return to launch it says it tells it. me what it is yep so I'm not guessing if you flick that switch one more time yeah so every every switch has got a that's so a, so that's you a good know tip. what you're doing because in a in a moment of panic you need all the help you can get. So uh, that's yep. my little tip for the day. And then like yeah, was that was that's a great tip actually. Long range tip with Tony. 
Yeah. yeah. Thanks, man. All right, mate. Too easy. All right. Anyway, drop your comments, all that sort of stuff. And as always, happy flying. That's really good advice. Not just a pretty face. No. I'd rather know what's going on than, you know, just be guessing and, and go, oh,